New eating and food buying patterns arose from COVID-led disruptions in 2020. The major change has been the overnight shift to eating at home, not by desire, but by staying at home orders, working from home, closed schools, and self-quarantining. While the pandemic has increased sales dramatically for grocery chains, it has also decimated restaurants. The National Restaurant Association just reported last week that over 100,000 restaurants in the U.S. have closed permanently. Employed parents nationwide are trying to balance their work and helping to school their kids at home. It's a lot of pressure on these parents that were already stressed. And this will continue as more major employers tell staff, hey, stay at home, work remotely, such as Google, who has closed their offices until mid-2021. And 10 of the 15 largest school districts in the U.S. will teach online only during this fall semester. One long-term impact is baby making. Fewer childbirths during the pandemic will negatively impact the food world and the economy in 2021 and beyond, according to the Brookings Institution, which forecasts 300 to 500,000 fewer children born in the U.S. next year. In addition, 34% of women want to delay pregnancies or have fewer children because of the pandemic, versus 15% who feel the opposite. A Guttmacher Institute survey reports that. According to 8451, Kroger's data science and analytics arm, 51% of us are cooking and baking more often than we did before the crisis. 40% of us say that we're eating more comfort and indulgent foods. 40% of customers say they've bought more packaged foods than they usually do. 46% of customers say that they're snacking more throughout the entire day. Many food analysts and the CEOs of grocery retailers and CPG brands are saying that the cooking at home trend, hey, that's here to stay. I disagree. When the pandemic started, there was little choice. People went online to buy bread making machines. They cleared the shelves of flour and baking yeast and decided as a way to occupy time, to build family relationships and to teach their kids new skills, they would focus on cooking from scratch at home. In fact, in the first five months of COVID-19, Twitter's posts about recipes and cooking jumped 60 percent here in the U.S. CPG companies are already reducing SKUs to improve efficiencies and brace themselves for less shelf space as stores' footprints are reduced to accommodate less shoppers and less volume. What the pandemic's effect on cooking at home will be is an increased focus on innovation in home cooking appliances. Those appliances, ovens, refrigerators, stovetops, 3D printers, and those that we haven't even imagined that are smarter, more convenient, interact with online ordering, and can offer personalized solutions with taste and nutritional preferences. Now, not everyone wants to eat at home. That's a reality, and we must accept that. 